first time I drove one of these cars, um, it was just shocking. I mean, that's just the only way to really describe it is it's unforgettable. Growing up in England, and every little car in England is considered light and sporty and fast. The American culture is V8, big, heavy cars. My dad particularly always said, you can't either have a car that's fast in the corners or have the power to go fast in straightaways, but you can't have a fast car that's also really lightweight. So basically, that's what we did. <laughs> we made a car that weighs the same as a Lotus, but has the power of a big V8 muscle car. I used to think I started more recently than this, but my dad will tell you, I started when I was 10. I used to build 1.8 scale gas-powered radio control cars. They basically have all the same components as a real car. They behave like a real car and drive like a real car. Then I just took, the way I see it is I just took a break. as so I went through high school and grew up a bit until I started dealing in classic and exotic vintage cars. I really just wanted my own product. I wanted to do it myself and do it the way I thought it should be done. There's a big leap between dealing in cars and building a whole car from nothing. Once I took that step, there was no going back. We started on the tooling and the design of the first one in 2005. We maximize our use of technology everywhere possible. When we need to go to a vendor, we go to the most high-tech vendor we can find to build the best quality component to build the car with. But we start by uh, laser cutting all the tubing and all the sheet metal for the chassis. Simultaneously to that, a body is made at our composites facility. All that tubing is then brought here where we have a fixture. We welded the chassis here and subsequently powder coat it. At that point, the body arrives. We install the body and fit it, and it's bonded to the chassis with more carbon fiber. From that point on, it's a matter of assembling all the components, the suspension, the engine, transmission, differential, brakes. From then, the car is thoroughly tested. We try and put 500 to 1,000 miles on the car in a combination of the track first. We try and put it into regular street driving. And once all that is accomplished, then we take some of the components back off the car. We then paint the car completely. We install the interior for the final fit, and then it's turned over to the client. The weight comes in around about 2,000 pounds. Most of the light weight I attribute to just the carbon body. Uh, I believe the whole body complete weighs only 130 pounds. The chassis uh, weighs about 280 pounds. It's very, very stiff, very, very strong. It's 55% tail heavy, so it's a rear weight bias, which gives it a very nice mid-engine car feel. We build them with any General Motors LS series engine, which is the current model Corvette. In the beginning, we did more of the 5.7 liters, but now it seems the trend has been to the seven liters. Either engine is extremely fast, but the LS7 just gives you a big smile. <laughs> and it, still to this day, every time I drive one, I'm amazed. It never gets old. I lay awake at night thinking about it, as does anyone who's been in one. very, very forgiving. It's very easy to drive. And a complete novice can handle one with 600 horsepower and not be in any danger. And there's not many cars like that. And we put a tremendous amount of time and a tremendous amount of money into the engineering of this car to ensure that that was possible. Because the Lucra is so light, every single response that it has to your inputs is immediate. It's absolutely extraordinary. Of course, the power is astronomical. It's the closest you could come to being a fighter pilot. It sounds cliche for people to say you become one with the car, but I've never driven a car that really takes you in and says, what have you got? Because I've got more. Zero to 60 in the car is 2.7 seconds. 10.1 seconds in a quarter mile. With a higher performance engine, we've seen as high as 
9.1 seconds with a little over 680 horsepower. We've seen it upwards of 200 miles an hour. The gear ratios allow it to get up to about 220. I think the only reason we haven't seen that speed is because the opportunity to do it hasn't come along. We continue to advance it with technology as it becomes available, but essentially the car will stay in production like it is for as long as we have customers to buy them. We do right now have a brand new design of a brand new car, completely new, completely different, under development. And we expect to see that car out in the world this summer. I love starting with a pile of parts and I love creating something out of it that you can actually get in and go somewhere. It's, it's really exciting to just create something that makes somebody else happy. Seeing people enjoy your product is really quite exhilarating, to say the least. It's become what I like to do. Thank <laughs> you.